Welcome back, internet people. My name is Ryan, and today we're getting a poltergeist to follow us. Now this is what's her face. She was like running all the way from. Oh, there she comes. We got her from uh, Ahumusa. Uh, last time we cleared out this place, this Aldeidroth, so that this woman and her very sad, horrible tribe of Ashlanders that can't even protect themselves from a cliff racers. We do we uh we made uh made this place safe so that they can hide in it or whatever. So now I'm proving to the lady that it is safe by taking her here and cross fingers that there isn't someone left in here who will want her dead. There's some crazy people in here that had a gamble putty which I somehow knew where it was and I stole it. But those people seem to be pretty cool now. I talked to one of them and she was like, "Oh yeah, okay, fine. I probably won't hit them." Um, yeah. So, once that happens, she's gonna name me Nerevarine, and then I'll go over to another tribe, and then they'll name me Nerevarine. And then once everyone's named me Nerevarine, I'll go and kill Dagoth Ur. But not before speaking, interestingly, to Vivek, because I got a letter from that guy saying, hey, it's very important. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Name me Nervarine, please. May you find me worthy of your attention. Nope. She gave me a mad stone. I guess that's the marking of one who is Nervarine. They get a mad stone of the Ahamusa. So, if this is a thing, like this is like the thing that is given out to the Nervarine, um. Was it originally, like, like how do they, like, she just carries it around with her? I just, I don't understand why everyone has objects that are perfectly suited to the thing that, the events that are happening. Is that crazy? Am I crazy? I think I might be, I, th I think that might be a little bit insane. Like, like this, oh, well, obviously, if Lord Nerevari Born shows up again, we'll have this, we'll have this thing to give him. Sure, why not? Or, uh, god fucking damn it. Yes! 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 You're a fetcher. You know, I just wander up to, to you know, what, not even an important person. Arion, of all people, of the Delvani. And he's just like, oh, have this robe. I'm carrying it around for this, you know, if a Hortador shows up. You know, I'm the one that carries the robe. You know, it's Serethi, he's holding a belt. Oh yeah, no, I'm the one that's in charge of the belt. You know, just in case. What happens if people that are in entirely against... What, uh, oh, you know what? I'm not going the right way. We're not gonna do this, we're gonna do the... the one at Zaynum first. What happens if someone who's 100% against me being Horde to in Nerevarine happens to be holding the object, the arbitrary object that is used to label me as such? Then am I just screwed? Do I have to murder that person? Oh, could I just murder the people and steal the objects? Really stealing, really having the objects seems to be what's most important. I'm just collecting shit. How delightful. Welcome. Oh, well, you're not so, you're not so undelightful yourself, my, uh, my lady. If you wish to talk, it is really no trouble at all. Oh, Inil. You were always my favorite. Yeah, that's right. You all heard it. Whisper among yourselves. She was my favorite. I hated all of you. Well, except for Skink. But I mean, mostly I just like Skink because his name is so unfortunate that I feel bad. I just, I, 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 I don't some, I, I feel just sad for him. I like constantly. I think of him having to grow up with that name. Can you imagine the horrible childhood rhymes that people would have said um, to Skink? Like Stinky Skink. That's a good one. Um, a skanky skank is another. Um, stringy skank, you know, for that one kid that used to cut off bits of skink's flesh and eat them. Oh my, you're not nearly as good as Grogugbo Gro Murgak. Because everyone knows that orcs are the most delicious. Hmm. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I wonder how you would taste. Your hand betrays no information regarding that. Although you are carrying around something to cook yourself with. What? 
What, do you not want me to eat part of you? I thought I honored you. Now you wanted me to say things. People just can't handle it, you know. People just can't handle it. I am quite excited to have another bauble for being Nerevarine. Unfortunately, there is a gigantic tree in the way. Hopefully I can get past it. Hi. Sorry. It's very nighttime right now. I feel like I should maybe have a nap. That might not be the best of ideas. Or maybe it is the only idea. I feel like if I don't have a nap, I'm gonna just fall asleep while I'm talking to those ain't people. That would be very good. Be like, Zams, make me everything. And I would just fall over and collapse on the ground. Um, then when I wake up, hopefully they would have just left the object I'm meant to collect on the ground for me. Let's have a sleep. that means. But I do know what this means is wickweeds. I like wickweeds. They're delicious. Do not worry, people of Zainab. Your lord and savior, Nerevar Reborn, has arrived. I have all sorts of things for you. Information about the outside world and, you know, hopes and dreams. Oh. Hello, Su Sun yes, Sun Sunumu. You Your yurt isn't as nice as everyone else's yurt. You know, all the other wise women usually have something, uh, you know, not just one candle and a fire. They usually have some lamps and whatnot. I guess I probably shouldn't be insulting your yurt right now. Um, I would like um, for you to, I don't know, maybe name me the Nerevarine or whatever. I got proofs and whatnot. Oh, okay, well. I like, I like how Ashlander camps are all about wandering from random, like wandering into someone's yurt and then they go, oh, you don't want to talk to me, you want to talk to someone else, and then you go to a different Ashlander camp and it's exactly the opposite. Um, I'm to speak to Ashkan Kashuad. Hello, or Kaushad. Hello, Kaushad. You have a very unfortunate name. It's very similar to Cowshed. That's a place where they keep cows. Do they keep cows inside of you? Maybe that's because you eat lots of hamburgers, so we're kind of keeping cow bits inside of you. So that's like keeping a cow. So that's why your name's Cow. You eat lots of hamburgers. That's why you got a good paunch going on down there, cow shed. That's why you got a good paunch going down there, cow shed. Yeah. Um. So I'm. I, I would really, really like you if you could name me Nervarine. I uh. He said he didn't want to take my claims very seriously. Um, usually this is solved by drinking fortified personality potions. Uh, okay, how about now? Do you want to believe me now? Is that a thing? You want me to kill a vampire in Narano Ancestral Tomb? You know, I spent an awful lot of time grave robbing and I may have already killed Calvario. Um, I do a lot of wandering into places like that and killing vampires. So if he's dead, you can just name me Nerevarine, right? I guess? Oh. Well, okay. Sure. I can... I can do that, I guess. 
The Ashcan, uh, very politely requested, that I bring him a gift. Um, a Talvani uh, bride. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Talvani woman would want to marry... Um, would want to marry an Ashlander. I know that's really racist, but I mean, it's not me being racist. It's all the Talvani brides. I don't like this sound I'm going to hide out in here. Um, and he told me to find out who to get Talvani brides from, from, uh, Sonamu. Hi, I would like some counsel, please. Kashrod wants a Talvani bride, a highborn Talvani. I know that she wouldn't, uh, Tyvan, or a highborn Talvani wouldn't wed an Ashlander. Oh, that's very clever, Sonamu. Okay. Um, oh. I just want to mention, uh, this Talvani bride is, is, is meant to have big hips for many sons. I, I'm assuming that means sons as in, um, you know, the the fiery ball of, of light in the sky. Wants lots of hips so that uh, when you look in that crotch, there's just bright lights in there. Use her as a, you know, just sling her over your shoulder and open her up and you can use her as a light bulb. Use it to light up the place at night. Maybe get her on a sling. Just open her up. Look at that. Don't even need a fire. Because it's so, uh... Because she's so warm up there. <laughs> Keeps everyone... This is a bad line of conversation. What I'm meant to do is actually... Sunumu is very clever. She says she knows a slave mistress. And I'm gonna... Oh my god, you rat! You're inconveniencing me with your with your um, with your background music. I know I know it's not your fault that the background music is here, but I mean you're causing it. Fuck off, please. That might have been a little bit uh, extravagant, a giant fireball. Oh well. Um, yeah, so she sent me to a slave market, uh, and I'm to I'm to gussy up a slave, gussy up a slave, so that uh, the ash can will. Find her very highborn. I wonder if we're gonna teach her how to talk. I'm gonna be like, hey, when you speak to him, only speak in condescending terms and pretend you know a lot about magic. Say things like, hmm, uh, try polite surfaces, even more complex surfaces. I know if I wanted to sound convincing about magic, I would say stuff like that. Instead, I have a horrible habit of just saying, eh, some fireball, some fireball at them. No, and explosions. I don't like explosions. I like to shoot fire from my fingers. Fortunately, most people, you know, listen to that and then they think, man, that guy must not know anything about magic. And then I use those fingers to, uh, to heat people up slightly. Um, at least enough so that, they're, that they die and I can see all their objects. I really need to stop doing that. It's not good for my soul. Like, of my shoes. You know, I tend to step in a lot of blood. It stains them. Oh yeah, Teleron! One of my favorite places. You know, I killed a... Or I, uh, I got... I remember a really, really long time ago, I met a crazy woman named Mari. Mari Povich. And she was like, hey, you need to, uh, you don't forget to, don't, if you can help me find a bandit that robbed me, because I found him very attractive. Um, and then if, if you can find him, I'll give you, I'll give you nothing, because he stole all my stuff. And then, oh, by the way, my, my friend who lives in Telerun on, well, I don't know, the opposite side of the fucking world, um, I'll give you some potions. <laughs> So that's, that's my memory of this place. Also, I think I killed the guy at the top of that tower. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, uh, I would like a, a, a special slave, please. Um, hmm. Ah, okay. So what we need for this slave is exquisite clothing. We need a shirt and a dress and some shoes. So I'm going to go shopping. She told me to go to Talmora, but I'm gonna check here first because you know if I don't have to walk all the way to Talmora, I will be happy as a clam. Are clams happy? I don't even know. Make it quick, Outlander. I will. I will go and purchase some clothing, and then I'll be back, and then we're gonna go back to wherever we were last time. I don't even know. Um, hello, Nina. These clothes suit you well. 
You are the first person to ever say that to me. Um. Hail, friend. Hail and high weather. Hail and high water. Hail and snowflakes. Nope, not the covenant. I definitely don't want to go to any covenants. At least not right now. Elegnan. 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 Hello, Elegnan. How are you? I'm looking for exquisite clothing. Thank you, Elegnan. You're very elegant. Yep. Okay. So, I'm gonna go and get... Oh my goodness, I'm turning into Nina. Um, I'm gonna go and give this thing you know, to a slave. Uh, I would like to go back to Teleron, please. Thank you for being my personal fairy service. Hello, my dear. I'm very surprised that you're still open, considering I've been on for, I don't know, about 12 hours in it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I keep doing this right in front of you. Um, I would like something special. I got the exquisite clothes. Um, oh. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. You want? Okay, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely got it. 1,200 drakes. That's a lot of money for a person. Wait, what am I saying? Here, no, no, take the money. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Oh. <laughs> she looks down at the ground waiting for me to speak. That, that's horrible. That's horrible. Okay, excuse me. Um, you're going to have to, uh... You're going to have to be a highborn Telvanni lady. Oh, look at that. You can even speak like one. Excellent. Um, okay. Here you go. Have have these presents. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy to get the shirt and the shoes and the skirt and the Talvani bug musk that I just happen to be carrying. Oops. Come with me, slave. I mean, uh, Felura. All right. Are you excited? You know, you get to wear nice shit. Rather than, you know, slave rags. So that's good. Also, you get to hang out with an, with an Ashlander Ashcan. Ashlander Ashcan. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. You're going to get to hang out with him. Um, he's going to stick it in you. Because you're going to have so many babies. I don't know if he's going to appreciate those hips, though. <laughs> Maybe we should pad them. Do you know where we might be able to buy you additional badonkadonk? Of course you don't, you're a slave, you don't know anything. Except you can say stuff like, yes, Sarah. That's, uh, that's what every, that's what every highborn person says. Alright, Felora. This is a little bit in intimidating for you. Might as well warn you. We're gonna be running through, oh, uh, maybe we'll just stay on the path. We're going to be running through um, this place during the middle of the night. Um, I uh, have magic eyeballs, so I can see just fine. Um, you, however, don't. Um, so if you start getting attacked or mauled by, I don't know, gigantic rats or kagooty, eh, you know, there's a lit thing. You know, sometimes there's vampires. Not often, though. There's only, a f only been like two or three that I've fought in this area. Um, you know, all, all sorts. There's cliff racers if you go close to the mountains. Um, what else is around here that's dangerous? Oh, uh, roving camps of rapey Ashlanders. Mm, they're not like part of the Ashlanders I'm taking you to. They're kind of their own thing. Anyway, if any of those start attacking you or, you know, eating your flesh or, you know, anything like that, if you could just maybe scream, um, as the more blood curdling the better because then I can, if, then I can hear it and I can maybe save you before you lose too much blood or need to have any limbs amputated um, anyway I just figured I'd let you warn you about those get you get you going on an action plan. We're walking through trees because we're ghosts, Falura. The two of us. We never actually existed in this world. But the things that we do are we the things that we do and the things that we say change it forever. Oh, I forgot about the guars. 
Holy fuck, Valora. Jesus. You getting right in there. Good job. You know, Fuller, I think you're gonna do all right. I think you're gonna be perfectly fine. You know, you're uh, you're a tough, you're a tough old broad. Oh, is that offensive? I don't know. If that's offensive. Ah, you're a slave. You don't care. I can say anything I want to you. I can say, mmm, 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 ma, that's is grass, mmm, mmm, and then I wiggle my butt at you, and then all you have to do is just look, look down on the ground. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? What has this place done to me? I used to be so kind to slaves. And now, all I want to do is make fun of them. Like, I just want to make them feel uncomfortable. And, 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 and tell jokes at their expense. God, I'm turning into, I don't know, someone that does a lot of that. Uh, who, makes, who, who makes fun of slaves at the slave's expense? Uh, Britney Spears? Not really, but sure, okay. How do you like it, Flora? We got, you know, yurts. Giant dead bug. It's good. Look at that. She's look at this. She loves you. Yes, What do you want? You guys are okay, sisters. It's kind of weird. Okay. Look, he's, he's even, he's even, he lives in the fanciest of all the yurts. Lives in this middle one. Look at this. Come on in. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. This is, uh, I found, this is your bridegroom. He's very distinguished looking, isn't he? A bit severe, perhaps, but the lines on his face show that he likes to smile. Well. May I help you? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say his, his lines were... Speak traveler particular in any way. Please, okay, okay, um, okay, yours, you tell any bride. Here you go. It's very nice. Do you know what? I, I knew it. I, I knew it. I absolutely knew it. I knew that she wouldn't. Don't look away. Don't look away. Don't look away, slave. Look, come on. What are you doing? Oh, she's so happy, I think. Mr. Cowshed here. Just commented on her, uh, on her hips. They weren't as generous as she might like. Anyway, so I guess I'm Nerevarine of the Zainab. I got a thong. What is this thong? Where is my thong? I can't find my thong. Here it is. Detect animal 150 feet for five seconds. Well, that's useful. We'll be sure to sell that at the corner store. So we did that. We're the, the we're the, the Nerevarine of the Zainab. That's great. Uh, I think we're gonna make that an episode next time. Um, one, uh, we're gonna do Ahamusa, I think, because they're very close to our grave, Uvert's gravesite. We're gonna go, oh no, Erebonimsum. We're going to, uh, we're gonna go there, and we're gonna solve whatever incredibly obnoxious problem they have. And while we're at it, we're gonna check out the stronghold, because apparently it's done. I just know it. It's been two weeks since we did whatever. So I'm gonna make that an episode. Thanks for watching, and thanks for enjoying the weather.